stem and leaf plot. For a stem and leaf plot, the width of the buckets is always 10, and the buckets are defined by the first numbers in the values in the data set. In this data set, the buckets are therefore 40 to 49, 50 to 59, etc. This is exactly the same set of buckets, by coincidence, as we used for the histogram and the frequency polygon. Therefore, our categories remain. The first step in building the stem and leaf plot is to draw the stem. The stem consists of listing the first numbers from lowest to highest in each bucket. In this case, we have values in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, so there are four numbers in the stem. After drawing the stem, list the final number for each data value alongside the appropriate bucket, increasing in value from left to right. To right. For example, for the stem value, value of 4, there are two values in the bucket, 48 and 49. So we list an 8 and then a 9 alongside the stem. For the value 7, as another example, the values in the bucket are 76, 76, and 79. So we list two sixes and a nine alongside the stem. To summarize, histograms, frequency distributions, and stem and leaf plots can be used to plot the same type of data. The data plotted will be quantitative and divided into buckets. And each distribution type shows variability, skewness, and modality. We're familiar with a histogram as a bar graph that's seen in many periodicals in our day-to-day -day lives. It's quick and easy to read, and it gives the best sense of the distribution. A frequency distribution also shows quantitative data, but it can be used to show qualitative data as well. It's also good for looking at trends from one value to another, if the values on the x-axis are arranged in a specific direction. Finally, the stem and leaf plot shows every data point so it can be used to understand exactly how the data set is distributed, in addition to giving a summary of the data set. This concludes our module on histograms, frequency distributions, and stem and leaf plots. Happy plotting. Welcome to the plotting module of elementary statistics. In this module, we'll discuss histograms, frequency distributions, and stem and leaf plots. You will learn the characteristics of each chart type and how to build each chart type through an example. The importance of plots is shown here. Consider the exam scores for the following 25 students in a statistics class. How do you do it? There are 25 scores. Just glancing at the scores makes it difficult to understand how the scores are distributed. In the upper left corner, for example, I see some high values, 97, 88, 97, 85, another 88. But I also see low values scattered around as well, 58 in the upper left corner, or 49 in the lower right. Plots help us to discern trends and information about this data that is not evident by looking at a large list of data. The data we're considering is quantitative. It is one-way data, meaning that one variable only is considered. Four plot types should jump to mind when you think about quantitative data. 